to ask Lynn um, to speak about injustice. How long have we got? <laughs> <laughs> Did not the mother just say, she does not need to forgive anyone who has raped her? For within her consciousness there is no such thing as justice and injustice. In truth there is only one law, and the law is love, and light is its way. It is through your judgments of yourselves that you magnetize injustice to yourselves, or what you perceive as injustice. See what we say. <clears throat> this is a very complex word. How shall we do this? We will take the word justice and we will break it up into just ice. Because your laws, your system of justice, in truth, is quite callous. A being loses control of its senses and creates violence. And you choose to heal that violence with more violence or incarceration. That being that has judged itself so harshly then creates scenarios in its world that create harsh judgment back. <coughs> and here is something very interesting for all of you which we placed in Starlight's consciousness during the week. You look at your peacemakers, the ones who appear just the Martin Luther Kings of your world, the Jesuses of your world, the John Lennons of your world. They all stood for peace. But what got each of them in the end? Violence. They were crucified, they were shot. Now the reason they were so passionate about peace is that they feared the anger and abuse within themselves. They tried through right intent to smooth over the extremes of what they were feeling by being the voice of peace. Now what we are saying to you, the energies you deny and judge, for they judge themselves harshly. And in their quiet moments, in the quiet moments of Jesus, of Martin Luther King, they try to control their rage and anger at violence. Do you see what we say? They were so infuriated that people could be so unjust to the helpless, to the weak. They fought for peace. But what remained within them was the fear that they felt of their own rage, that they would sacrifice their lives to go fight for peace. So when that energy was denied in them, when it was judged in them, they magnetized outside of them the equal vibration of their own anger. Do you see what we say? So they had violence thrust upon them. Again, the powerless ones have told you that you are meant to be these pristine, pure, perfect spirits 
that have been jammed into human suits. Now we will tell you something else. We said in the first transmission, God is an evolving God. God has been where you are now. God has experienced this rage, this anger. Do you truly understand what we are saying here? If God is all encompassing of everything in existence, it must also be all encompassing of your emotional state. And you, as human beings, are serving God by allowing these frequencies of emotion experienced by God to run through your biological suits. But you were given wrong information about this. You were told, through the fear of the powerless ones, that God was this perfect thing, this image. You are perfect as you are. So what we are saying to you is honour everything, including your anger and your rage. We have said to you many times, the mother is here. She does not judge you. Go out and scream it out. Yell it out, sob it out, but do not judge it. For we also tell you this, the person who is violent has such self-hatred, they do not believe they are worthy of love. When you see something that looks dark or evil in another human being, focus on the love that is all Jesus did. He looked at the truth, at the inner core of the being, and that magnetically drew the out. You see what we say? That those beings who crucified him had such self-hatred, had such fear. And Jesus feared for humanity, for they were not getting the message, and he judged himself that he was doing something wrong, that he was not good enough. You see what we say? Mm -hmm. So we need you to get out also of your vocabulary, justice and injustice. Because just is, just ice, has no compassion, no understanding, Justice wishes to just shut it up and lock it away. You see what we say? Now this is not an easy thing to do. But you can turn the tide in your own lives through understanding, not judging. You have another question? I think someone else has it, so thank you. Oh my.